So this will be part 21 of our complete application in Spring Boot and if you are joining for the first time please subscribe to my channel because that motivates me and kind of helps me to know that there are people actually benefiting from these classes and if you have any challenges whatsoever please reach out to me by comment or by connecting with me in my profile. So in the previous class which was 20, this class now is 21, we displayed a fancy table that contains some dummy data. Right now, we want to actually display the list of countries that we already have in our database. So we have to just make a simple change, not so simple, but there are two things we want to do. One, we want to pass these countries from our controller here, we want to pass the list of countries across to the page. And second, we want to take this page and actually render it in this table. So that, let's do the first one. Let's pass this list of countries from our controller here to this page. So once you are returning this template, this HTML page, you also want to pass this list of countries across. So to do that, you have to specify to your function a model uh, parameter. So a model is simply something like a package or a vehicle that carries this list of countries and pass it across to the view. So think about it, a model is a vehicle that you put in the list of countries into it and it's going to carry it from your controller to the HTML view so that the user can see. So you have to define, uh, create the model parameter here, the model model, so the model type, and it's coming from uh, model uh, of the Spring Framework.UI. So it works with the UI by passing data to the UI. So I want to pass these countries now across to the page. So before we return the HTML page, we are simply going to say model.add attribute. I want to add countries and we want to add these countries. So actually the attribute name is countries and the data is the countries. Sorry, let me just put this in mind. The data now we have we want to pass is this country. The second parameter to this add attribute is the data we want to pass. And the first parameter to this add attribute is the name of the of the uh, data, the name of the, the 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 data model that we will be available to the UI. So we go back to the UI now. So these are country lists, and we have all this dummy data here. We have a whole lot of things here. So we want to delete all these rows. So we have some rows of data that is actually. Uh, dummy data, we want to delete all of them and we want to leave only two rows. All right, so we have a header row. The header row, we want to leave it the way it is and give me one second. So it's a header row, the first one, and we all only leave, also leave another row that's going to contain the data. All right, so now we have the header row. So for the countries, we have a number of things. We have we have the description, we have the description and we have the capital, if I can remember, and we have the code and we have the nationality and we have the continent, if I can, yeah, the continent, all right? So you can also check uh, the country model so that you can make sure this is exactly what we have. Now, here we now have to first, we need to, uh, give me one second, like, okay, good. So we have this here that say button group. If we go back to our table, this button group, we have to leave this button group the way it is. We don't want to change it. So I'm going to just, just simply collapse this. So we want to change this place so that this data will be repeatable, displaying the rows coming from the country's list that is coming from the controller to the view. So where is this country? To assess it, we are going to use the time leap syntax here. So this table row will be re repeatable. So to make this table row repeatable, we are going to use uh, th each is equal to uh, open and close double quotes and specify for country for country. Uh, just check for country in yeah for country in countries so you have it recognizes it 
So the, it gives us a bit of intelligence showing us that it actually understood that there is a list of countries coming in here. All right, so for country in countries, we want to now display uh, items coming from this country. So first, let's take out these uh, variables here. Uh, I mean this text here that is actually quite useless. So let me take them out. All right, so one will now display, uh, why do we have, oh yeah, so this TD is, is actually the buttons. So let me just increase the font so that we understand exactly what we are going to do here. It's going to be really easy. So for each of these, we now want to display the attributes of this country, okay? You're going to display it right here. So you're going to say th text is equal to open and close uh, double quotes. I don't know why this messes up. And you're now going to say is equal to uh, dollar sign like before, open and close. And it's going to be country dot description. Um, let me just make sure I'm not missing, <laughs> missing anything. Okay, so country the description and that should be fine. So I'm going to simply use this to replace every other one and then I'm going to uh, change the names or the text. So let me just replace these, replace these and replace these as well. So uh, we have th text is equal to country the description. So we have use the dollar sign to specify that we have a text to want to evaluate. And country the description, the next one is going to be country dot capital. And the next one is going to be country dot code. And the next one is going to be country dot nationality. And the final one is going to be country dot what? Uh, continent. Okay. All right, let me just uh, make sure everything is okay. I have to check. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, so I think it should be fine now. I think when we run it, it's going to now display the actual data we want. So let's, let me first save everything. So I'm going to go to File, Save All, and I'm going to restart this application now. And let's see what we have. So let me just create this right here. So Tomcat started at port 8080. So I'm going to first go to dashboards. For some reason, this shows parameter home. I'm going to fix it. So if I go back to here, I'm going to click on countries. And now we can see that it displays the actual list of countries coming from our database. So I think we've done a good job. And the next part now, we are going to now see how we can actually do edit and insert. Okay. So the easy thing to do in this case, we can add, we will create two more pages. This is country list. We now create country edit and country add. So later I'm going to sh show you why we are going to be doing this. In the previous version, version one, we actually use only one page and we use a pop-up. But in this case, version two is we are now going to use best practice to actually use different pages. And in this case, we are not actually using different pages. It's actually the same template page that's going to be changing the data uh, based on a date or add or list. So we are going to be doing this in the next part. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any comment whatsoever. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.